Good afternoon and good morning and good evening and welcome to On The Road with Wando. Today we at the biggest actually tourist attraction in Cape Town and that's none other than the VNA waterfront as you can see it's nice and beautiful sunny day you'd actually never tell that we're actually at the beginning of winter um, so basically what is so nice about the VNA waterfront there's actually so many things to do once you're here um, because there's also what you have your catamarans your boat and sunset cruises um, which are actually right behind me so you can go around outside the harbor and one of the best views outside of actually Blowback Beach um, of Table Mountain if you're doing the day one you actually sometimes you may be lucky you might see one or two um, whales and then also some dolphins and obviously there's lots of seals around and then if you're doing the evening one you get to see the sunset um, so basically as you can see uh, around about this time um, it's actually wait let me check the time time run about when I'm while I'm recording this it's actually um, 20 to 5 in the evening so Sun will set in about two hours and then when the Sun sets um, then you can do your sunset boat cruise and they give you a glass of nice um, uh, bubbly so that you can enjoy and then you no know, it's like all nice and fun but at times it can be cold but hey it will be worth it the moment you see you know like the view of literally uh table mountain you get to see table mountain you get to see the green point stadium and you know you actually will also have a glim glimpse of robin island of which i also do recommend that when you do have a chance do make it and go to robin island but anyway let's keep exploring If shopping is your thing, VNA Waterfront has got you covered. The shopping experience here is truly world class, with over 450 retail outlets selling everything from designer fashion to handmade crafts. You can find international brands here like HM, Zara, and Nike, as well as local stores selling unique South African products. As much as you walk around the busy VNA waterfront, there is actually a quiet section that I call the Ballers Lane. Basically, there you'll find all the luxurious brands um, all in one lane. And yeah, it's fairly quiet there because we all know why. So the nice thing about also the VNA waterfront is that, you know, just because you also like shopping, you can also do quite a lot um, in terms of like, you know, if you're a boat enthusiast, you can actually get to see, um, for example, the harbor here. This is actually the one side where it's a bit scary because there are no guide rails in this side. And then you also have like a very nice view of Table Mountain just right behind you um, in case you're also into that because, I mean, why take pictures of Cape Town if you're not gonna include the Table Mountain? I mean, that's like the whole signature about Cape Town. But yeah, anyway, let's keep exploring. So right behind me, this is basically where the meeting place or like the square of the VNA waterfront is situated. Um, this is right just behind the amphitheater, which now includes a nice LED um, advertisement board just behind me. So just right behind it, um, actually there is an amphitheater with the stage uh, where you actually get to, you know, and some days if you're really lucky, you get to see some live performances. This could be like famous bands coming in. And also when there's big games that are being played, they are literally televised live on the massive screen on the amphitheater. For example, if the national rugby team is playing cricket or even sometimes football, even though when it comes to football, 
Yeah. In South Africa, we're really suck when it comes to that. But yeah. hey, um, we support our own team. Yeah. So, but basically, this is where you, I can call it like a meeting place for each and every person. Um, if you're right here and you know having a good time. This suspension bridge connects the mainland to the clock tower precinct and is a popular spot for visitors to take photos. The bridge swings back and forth as people walk across it, providing an exciting and unique experience. If you're feeling adventurous, try walking across it. And right about now, we're crossing the famous swing bridge of the VNA waterfront. As you can see on this clip, you know, uh, when there's a boat that's coming from this side or actually the other side, the bridge will have to swing open so to allow it for a safe passage. Um, it's actually quite nice to see and it's, it's quite cool actually. Even though at times, unfortunately, they have to keep announcing to the people, you know, to vacate the bridge because they want to swing it because people just don't want to leave. They're busy taking some nice pictures. behind me here and this is the Robin Island Museum so basically if you do catch a ferry um, to Robin Island which is that way um, it's about a 40 minute um, ride 35 minute to a 40 minute ride um, to Robin Island that's basically where you would catch your ferry and oh actually speaking about the Robin Island and the ferry and I'd like to say a big shout out actually to one of the people who actually watch my videos um, at, Fiona, at Fiona's life um, yeah just want to give you a big shout out all the way at waterfront I uh, can't wait actually for you to, to tell us basically about your experiences as soon as you arrive in Cape Town so without any further ado let me show you around the vicinity and basically some of the cooler spots um, that you can actually explore while you're um, here basically So while inside the museum, um, basically, it's actually a free entry, but you do actually have to pay um, to take the ferry all the way to Robin Island. Um, so as you actually enter, you'll see actually one of the rooms, the exhibition rooms, which is here. Um, you get, you know, if you want to learn more about the history of Robin Island and a little bit of South Africa, actually, um, this is where you can actually come and take a seat and, you know, get to watch um, the documentary while you're waiting um, to take your ferry. To Robin Island. Um, yeah, th let me actually also just show you around again. And so you cannot visit the VNA and the waterfront and you know go to Robin Island without actually also visiting the souvenir shop. Basically, you can get literally almost everything that you need here. Um, yes, there's also like very friendly people <laughs> working here. The manager, she's fabulous. Yes. So clearly, when you when you do come here, please. Um, Buy something, uh, some memorabilia, you know, like um, souvenirs, just to so that um, you can share wherever that when you go back home, wherever that you're coming from, to just tell them, hey, I went to the Robin Island tour, and you know, 
not just touring, but you get to learn about you know the history of the country, the history of the city of Cape Town and Robben Island, and actually also enjoy and walk around the museum and the VNA waterfront, you know, just to learn more, um, because it's no use traveling somewhere without actually bringing something back um, for the kids, um, for the family members. But yeah, definitely please do come around and have a visit, and you'll always you'll meet the lovely stuff here. What we have in front of us actually right here it's actually one of those monuments which actually are missed by most people who actually do come to the waterfront um what's in front of us actually and what it represents this is actually um the replica of a cell that um nelson mandela used while he was in prison um in robin island um as you can see here how quite small and how tight um it is it's it's quite amazing actually to see that someone spent 27 years right there um and then if we actually just walk close and then you can see also these are the cell bars um or the prison bars that were there um in prison not the actual ones but the replica of them um so yeah if you actually do ever come around here please come and see um the space um and hopefully actually you'll get to understand more about what this um, monument or this art actually does represent um, in context of uh, in the South African history context basically um, and yeah, yeah as you can see yeah this is I think this is a three by two uh, meter cell so yeah that's actually one of the places that we actually do need to visit while you're here at the waterfront okay moving along <laughs> actually very nice artwork where you see a penguin with the scuba tank um, and you realize actually what would a penguin be? The bridge will be open and shut it down for your personal safety please stand clear of the bridge and gate area last but not least we have the silo museum this museum is located in a converted grain silo and it houses a collection of contemporary African art. The building itself is a work of art with its unique cylindrical shape and stunning views of the city. The museum's exhibition showcases the works of African artists, including paintings, sculptures and installations. And and just like that i actually do hope that you did enjoy you know a little bit of a tour of robin island because either way you actually need to come here yourself and get to experience you know this um place it's nice because you're in an old you're in an old hub but very beautiful nice restaurants and there's quite a lot of shopping and especially if you want to get some souvenirs about cape town this is definitely the place that you can actually um, get your nice um, shopping gifts. If you want to go to Robin Island, this is also the place where you can actually get your tickets um, right there by the tower. And also another thing, you can also do your catamaran tours. Um, literally, there's a whole lot of things to do around while you're here um, at the water, at VNA waterfront. So today, I'll just like to leave you with a question, basically. Um, in your city or your town, what is the biggest tourist attraction and basically why you should recommend anyone to go there and experience it? If so, yeah, I'd like to hear that all down in the comments. Anyway, have a good morning, have a good afternoon and have a good evening. This is Rwando on the road with you um, and today's episode was the VNA and Waterfront. So yeah, I'll see you on the next one. <laughs>